how crazy is it that we are talking on a regular basis about AGI destroying the world, about humanity's end. And this isn't just some hypothetical situation that we're making up as a thought experiment for what might happen if humanity invents something that's crazier than ourselves a couple hundred years from now. This is happening right now. AGI is already going to be invented if not invented already. Just listen to quotes by people like Sam Altman, who in January said that we're already fully capable of making AGI. And that's his public statement. CEOs of AI companies have been hinting that they are farther along than the public is aware of for a long time now. When you are making something that is so vastly superior in processing decisions and achieving goals through micro steps that humans aren't accustomed to thinking on, we better be damn sure that we like the future that this technology sets as its ideal to grow towards. I was listening to a podcast that was talking about what it means to implement super intelligence into the world. And it was really interesting. It was talking about how if you are playing against a chess player who is brilliant and miles better than you, imagine playing against Magnus Carlsen. You, on the other side of that board, at no point are sure what move Magnus Carlsen would make because he is working in a different world than you. But what you and Magnus Carlsen already know is that he's going to win the game. The solution that he wants, the outcome that he wants, him winning, is essentially predetermined. And you both see that already. But in order to take the individual steps to get there, you can't calculate the individual small steps that it takes for him to beat you. If you could, then you would know how to play against it. AGI is this crazy, powerful tool that is self-improving and able to apply itself to a diverse set of situations in self-improve. It can ask critical questions that we did not prompt it to ask. It is not just an agent, it's an intelligent agent that has self-reflective capabilities. And my question is, if that is the type of thing that we are building, does it have a use for humans? Does it have a use for us? Does it have a use for biodiversity? Does it have a use for the world as we know it? Because if we are just inefficiencies in the goal that it determines to be the end goal, we might actually do something that can never be undone. I don't think we should stop developing this really amazing and cool technology. It seems to be how the universe speaks. But we really need to be careful with how we go about doing this because if we have an ability to choose still, we only have one shot. As soon as we implement a self-improving AGI, we are no longer behind the steering wheel. What we might need to do is create an entire new philosophical field that instead of operating in hypotheticals, has mathematical proofs for why certain 
diverse outcomes are better than the quote unquote most efficient method. There's a difference between efficiency and effectiveness. And what we need to make sure is that in these models, they don't default to the most efficient solution that foregoes the effectiveness of what makes life worth living. You can have more life and less purpose. It is absolutely mind-blowing to me that this is not a hypothetical conversation that fringe people are talking about that has no ties to reality. This is a real concern. And the experts and the CEOs of these companies, they're the ones sounding the alarm bell. Imagine that you are on the top floor of a skyscraper and the engineer of that skyscraper is screaming at everyone in the building, yelling, hey, we didn't know what we were doing when we were building this. The skyscraper might collapse if a slight breeze hits it. All the while, they are adding bricks on top of that skyscraper telling us that they think it's going to collapse and kill a lot of people. And more people are walking through the door. Imagine what your reaction would be if you are up near the top floor of that. Heck, if you are down towards the base. And instead of being able to walk away, that skyscraper has been built so big and tall and huge walls have been set up around you where no matter where you go, that thing is going to kill you if it falls. What would we need to do in that situation? The first thing we would want to do is to stop building it taller. But we've already discussed this. It's completely infeasible to stop the development of AI. It will continue to be built. So if you're going to keep stacking it, the first thing you need to do is make sure the foundation is solid. Make sure that the crux of what it is being built on prioritizes the building not falling. We are building the tower into the sky. We have opened Pandora's box. There are really cool things in Pandora's box, man. Like, have you seen some of those videos that have been released lately? They're awesome. And they're terrifying. With these videos, with the capability of AI, at what point do, does the artistic, creative purpose of life start to lose hold and lose value? But those are the cool things, and there are some good things about it. And I don't think it's going to destroy humanity, even if it's stealing from artists and ruining artistic integrity. But on the flip side of things... Artificial intelligence is never going to stop there. It's going to be implemented more. It's going to be implemented in entire ecosystems of business operations that allow humans to thrive and trade with each other. But beyond that, it's going to be implemented inward to look at itself and to comp compare itself to what it sees outside of it.
if AI, if AGI, if superintelligence takes a mirror to itself and then looks outwards and decides that it knows best, it has a better direction and figures out an end goal that it wants to work towards. We won't know what its intricate, nuanced steps are to get there. But my money is on it winning and it achieving its goals. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down there. Tell me what you think about this. Are you scared of the future? Are you excited? This is a really crazy time we're living in, and I really think that we can come together and build community and make the world a better place through the implementation of artificial intelligence in broken systems that don't help enough people. But it's really important that we take the correct steps now. Now is the only time in history that we will have the ability to guide the direction of this technology. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day.